we are going to learn about drip and flood irrigation. From the themes of the gift, I need this. The drip irrigation. The plants will grow using small, small drops. So here we uh, we have to pour water in this beaker, and the water will flow through this pipe. I have made holes in this pipe so the drops could fall into the pot. If we pull this, the water will flow through the pipe, and the drops will fall into the pot. We have kept these containers because these pots are made are made of coconut peels and they are very they are biodegradable. So they so they let water pass through them. So whenever the water will pass through them and get collected in the collected in the containers, they would get evaporated. That is why we keep these containers. In this pot, there are weed grains. In this garden pea, watermelon and mustard. The wheat and mustard have grown very fast. We have to wait to wait till the watermelon and garden pea grows. So this is how drip irrigation works. Now the drip irrigation so this is how it looks like the straw like structures that you are able to see are known as spikes from where water goes oops i have magnified it more so here you can see that to the pipes there are some holes in the pipe from where water goes oh wow you are very lucky I got a picture just for you so that you can know from where the water comes. So you can see that a uh, water is coming from the hole and then only plants will grow. Mainly watermelon grows here. Oh, what? This is a fun fact. Let's see. Drip irrigation is just like the sprinklers we see in parks and gardens so here the pipe many holes are kept and from where the water rushes out let's learn about flood irrigation as we know flood irrigation means a lot of water so when you look at the feet from far away it looks like this let's magnify it so if we have magnified it we can see that there are so much water than plants. It's magnified more. So, how does water go into the field? What the, a pipe is connected to the field from the well or the river. And then the water rushes into the field. Then only plants are kept. Plants, mainly rice is grown in the flood irrigation. So today we learned how rip and flood irrigation works like. Thanks for watching. Bye.